Hi everyone, this is Carolina. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put this pillow box treat holder together. It comes together quite easily with a die that you just use to cut out the actual shape and then a tool to tie everything together and I'm ready for you to put small treats into it. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. I started off with this um, die that I cut out with the Sizzix. Uh, pillow box die and then I'm going to start off by folding at every crease that you see on the box Just make sure you fold in quite well Then on the little tab you're going to go ahead and put a piece of tape right across And I like to put it towards the bottom on this end because that's the one that's going to be towards the inside of the box And then on the other end I put it a little bit like a little tab towards the top Which I will show you in a second and that's just to kind of make sure it all holds together since it is a 3d item you don't want it to open up on you in the middle of um, you trying to give it to someone or even them just having it on their shelf or something so anyways once you put that on there then you go ahead and take it off and you're going to keep the tab that you just put the tape on you're going to keep it closed and then you're going to try to have the ends meet as such you do have a little bit of time to kind of remove it, but just try to put it together as close as possible. Then on either end, since you creased it well, this is where this comes in handy. You're just going to bring those tabs down. You can put a little bit of glue on um, the little tabs if you want, like right there, but really there's no need since it is going to be held together with some tool. Just make sure you kind of go through all the creases and and just um, have them be quite creased well so that way it's easy to put the tool and then I grabbed about a 12 inches worth of tool in this case I'm using um, black tool since it is a Halloween project I kind of wanted it to match and I like to double knot it just because this first of all is what's holding it together and secondly it's going to be handled a lot so a quick double knot what's great with tool it's similar to ribbon you can kind of fix it how you want it and manipulate as much as you'd like and you'll get a chance to do so once your sentiment is on as well. So feel free to do it now as I'm doing it here or later. But with that, we're done with that part. And let's go ahead and put it aside and work on the middle part of the sentiment. I use uh, Spellbinders uh, Pinking Circles to cut out the crepe paper. Um, cut them out in two sizes and then use glitter paper to cut out the little pumpkin with the Martha Stewart pumpkin pa um, pumpkin. Uh, punch so put a little bit of glue in the middle since that's going to be covered up with the pumpkin anyways and then put the smaller circle on top as such and then on the pumpkin since it's going to be um, it's going to lay on top of the circles it's fine to go ahead and be quite generous with your glue and as you know I love to use liquid glue especially with 3d items because it gives you a little bit of a chance to kind of just fix things and center them as you'd like um, and you'll see me playing with that in a little bit too. But next, let's move on to the sentiment. I used the Happy Halloween from All Holidays uh, Stumping Upset. Cut it out into a little bit of like um, a flag or a, a banner edge. And I'm showing you how I do this on this corner. You're just going to do little triangles as such. And then to kind of give it a little bit of um, a feel, I just kind of hold it between my fingers, go hold it on one side and then just bring it down and as I'm doing this I'm kind of wrapping around my fingers to kind of give it some motion and I do this a couple of times till I'm kind of satisfied with how it looks and to put it on top of the pumpkin I'm just going to use a little bit of um, dimensionals or pop dots in the back and then just set it on top and that's pretty much it for this and to put it on top of the box, I like to use double-sided tape on top of the tool. And um, at this point, again, you can fix it how you'd like and then just set it on top. And with that, you're pretty much done. I have a kit available on my blog. If you'd like to purchase them, you can find them at the address listed below. And as always, feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Hope you have fun making these. Happy Halloween.